Hello and welcome to your fourth tutorial of astronomy. And um, we had a sun in the last tutorial and uh, some inner planets. We can have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And then there's some debris here that's the asteroids. And out here comes Jupiter, that's gas planet. And in here it's hard planets. Jupiter, Saturn, that's also a gas planet. And Uranus, and Neptune, they are all gas planet <coughs> and considerably uh, larger than the hard planets. Saturn, Saturn we know as uh, they have this ring around it. Actually, actually it's a lot of different rings. And the other planets also have some smaller rings like Neptune and so on. But Saturn that's like a remarkable ring. And uh, on Jupiter there's the eye of the Jupiter. It's a big permanent organ stuff. It is a permanent eternal hurricane here. And Saturn, for example, it could, if we had some uh, water, a big ocean like this, then Saturn would just uh, float on it. It would just float like this because it's made of gas and uh, it will actually just be on top while uh, the Earth would just sink down, of course, will lie here on the bottom, because that's hard planets. Jupiter will probably also sink, but not very fast. Okay, so now we will look at the actual distances. So I made this little drawing, and then we have the Sun here, of course, this is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and then actually here in between the, that should, there should be some asteroids, a lot of debris, and then it goes from 225 million kilometers over to 500 million kilometers, that's more than half the distance, or actually more than double the distance from the Sun to Mars, then from the Sun to Jupiter, which is here. And then Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And you can see the, the distances becomes astronomical, so to speak. Uh, they are orders of magnitude. You always see that the planets are kind of next to each other and you try to remember the sequence of the planets and so on. But there's this huge difference on the distances to the planets. If we go to Mars, which is just this little jump here, that's a big journey for us. But this is incredible how, uh, how big our own solar system is. And it becomes much more mind-boggling when we look at the distances to other stuff. So you probably wonder that uh, Oh, there's so much to learn about the planets, and yes, there is. Uh, but one quick little uh, trick you can do is to just remember the planets and the sequence. And uh, I can show you how to do that. All you have to do is just remember one sentence, and I will write it down now. So the sentence is... My very eager mother just served us nachos. So, what the heck is that about? My very, uh, my very eager mother just served us nachos. So you take 
the M, the V, the E, the M, the J, the S, the U, the N. Then you have the sequence of the planets. This is of course Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So just learn that. My very eager mother just served as nachos. And then you can be brilliant in the class or if you want to explain somebody about the sequence of planets and you know all about it and so on. So, um, all right, thank you for listening and uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.